Hi. Hi. How are you? I like your plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mag. Oh, I almost couldn't see you back there. I don't know. Hi. 
Don't forget to send me the invitation to your concert. Remember? I will remember. Performance, performance, performance. Sorry, performance. Oh, we're set, oh, we're set, oh, we're set. Get away, dogs. How are you? Oh, doing pretty good. I went to bed at 7.30 and I still feel like I just got hit by a train. Yeah. Hmm. I need to, I don't know, this kid, whatever this child is, like I know it's a boy, but it's like really draining. Yeah, but also before when you were pregnant, you didn't have another baby to take care of. That's true. That's really true. So, I mean. How did you feel when you were pregnant with your fourth one, when you had three to take care of? Were you just so tired all the time? I just, just I, would, I would do a lot of um, rocking in the chair, reading to whoever. And then I would just be falling asleep and just drooling on the head. And the kid would be looking <laughs> at the book and I'd be drooling all over them. <laughs> I would never drop them though. That's good. <laughs> yeah. All four of them flipped off the diaper changing table though. You know, I never learned that. They all flipped off the bed and they all flipped off the changing table. The babies are scared. They just, yeah. We started to have to and change. Just, and that was something that, that and them getting a sunburn, I would always like feel so terrible. I know, Duke did that too. We had to start changing him on the floor because I'm like, he's just too wiggly. I can't. I know. And you just think you just, it just happens so fast that you can't believe it. Like, it's not even like in your mind, you're not even thinking like. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get started and the other two can jump on when they get on. So today, make sure that you, you guys can actually use your couch. Um, if it doesn't move. I was hoping so. Yeah, so that way um, you can kind of see what I'm doing still. So yeah, just make sure that you can kind of see me wherever the wall is. Because I'll start on the wall and then I'll kind of creep over and check on you guys' form just to make sure everything's good. So let's go ahead and start with a warm up. So we'll start with the back and then we'll work our way into our wrists because we're going to be um, needing those wrists today. So we want them to wake up. So let's go ahead and roll to your side. Uh, stick your, whatever side you chose to roll out, stick both arms out in front of you and rest your head on the ground, rest both arms on the ground. Making sure that your calves are not tucked into your hamstrings, making sure your calves are 90 degrees and your feet are flexed. Okay, so you can open up the neck and the upper back by sweeping the hand up and around, kind of like a windmill. So we're opening up the chest as well. So don't move anything but this top arm. Move the legs. So we're exhaling as we sweep the arm forward and then inhale as we sweep the arm back really spreading those fingers as wide as we can just to really push through that shoulder joint. And if you want more of a deep back stretch, bring your knees up higher to your hips. If you would like less intensity, just bring your knees down away from your chest line. Good, go ahead and switch directions. So same motion, just different directions, spreading those fingers out nice and wide. across the whole body. Good. Okay, from here it's going to be open the book. So hands are in a high five position. They're uh, high fiving each other. You drop the hand down at the bottom. You just open the top. One. It's called opening the book. So open the book and then close the book. So we're going to inhale here and then exhale. Tuck the core, tuck the rib cages down as we close. Okay, last one, and then we'll switch sides. So you guys can just go ahead and roll over. I'm gonna just do it like this, so in case anyone needs a reference point. So same thing, just different side. Rest your head on the ground, both arms out. Knees are higher if you would like more of an intense stretch. Knees are lower if you would like less of an intense stretch. We're going to sweep the arms back and around, opening up the chest and forward. So remember the wider you can spread your fingers and the more you push through that middle finger it'll get deeper into your neck. Okay. 
and go ahead and switch directions. Good, we're gonna open the book. So high five the hands, sweep the arm back as far as you can go. Don't force it to go any farther than your body already knows and then close with an exhale. So if the back of your fingertips can't touch the ground, you guys, what I would like for you guys, I know I say this all the time, I, but like seriously, if, you're, if you can't touch the, the ground, you need to be doing this at least once a day before bed, okay? I know things are super crazy in the mornings usually if you're not scheduled to work out. So before bed, just quick 20 on each side. And then I promise you within two weeks, you'll start to feel that hand drop down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into hip openers. So go ahead and just um, get on all fours. Hands are directly underneath your shoulder blades. So try not to inch them out here. Get those hands directly underneath. Knees are directly underneath your hip bones. We're gonna engage the Achilles by tucking the toes. We're gonna engage the core by bringing that belly button up. Neck is nice and long, so we lift open that left leg. So you're opening the book here and then kicking back. So open the book and kick. Try not to dump all your weight into this right leg. Try to keep your hips pretty square. Good, everybody push away from the ground, making sure your elbows are nice and straight, neck is nice and long, nice. And we're only gonna go backwards today because most of our uh, hip motion is internal, so we're working our external right now. So I'm not gonna work internal because that's what we do most of the day. Go ahead and switch sides. So push away from the ground first. That's your first key. Arms are straight, tuck the toes, tuck the core, then go. So open the book and kick. Okay, one more. Good. So from here, we're going to go into um, a low back stretch. Okay, so if any of you suffer from low back pain or low back tightness, this is a good one to do when you're not working out with me. So we're going to lay down on our stomachs. Okay, your head, your head's going to be like this, but I'm going to talk to you like this. So all of you guys should be like that. Okay, so my head is supposed to be my hands. I'm going to flex this foot keep my left leg long, and I'm going to lift my knee as high as I can. Put, what this does is it really opens up your psoas, strengthens your low back and your glute, and then you lower it back down. You hold for five, then lower back down. Okay, so everybody you put their heads down, bend your right leg, keep your left leg straight. Okay, flex the foot, you're gonna exhale, push that right heel into the ceiling, hold for five, four, three, two, one, come down, exhale up for five, four, three, flex that toe down, two, one, release, inhale, exhale up for five, four, three, two, one, inhale down, last one, exhale up for five, four, three, two, one, straighten that leg, now you're on that le the left leg, so flex that toe down. So really push through that right leg, keeping it nice and straight. You're gonna exhale, push up through the heel, hold for five, four, three, two, one, come down. Exhale up for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Exhale up for five, four, three, two, one, release, last two, exhale up for five, four, three, two, one, release, last one, exhale up for five, four, three, two, and one. 
So if you guys notice that one side was tighter than the other one, I want you to do two more reps on the side that was tightest. Okay, so find your tighter side. We're gonna go through two together. Lift up the tighter side, hold for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, last one, up for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna open up the hips and do some squats and then we'll get started. So go ahead and sit on your booty, knees are bent like this. We're gonna do window wipers here. So setting back into the wrist a little bit, we're gonna window wipe the legs, opening up the hip joint and the low back. Take the legs out in front, slightly bend your knees, wrap your hands around the balls of your feet. Okay, use the weight of your head to just tilt. We're gonna hold this triangle stretch. So drop your head as far down in between your knees as you can, and just let that, op that spine open up. So just hold this position. And slowly come up. Let's roll those wrists out. So let's go ahead and put your right thumb right into your forearm. And you're just gonna draw some circles. Sitting up nice and tall, so try not to sink down. Sit up nice and tall, pull those shoulders away. We're trying to train our body at all times where it should be in space, okay? So don't let it slack in the warm up. Sit up taller, shoulders down and back. Pull that belly button in. Push hard through the thumb. If you find a tight spot, you just keep rolling there. And switch. Everybody sit up straight, keep your neck long. Okay, so last stretch. You guys can um, use the walls near you or the couch. It doesn't have to be an exact wall. Okay, so I'm gonna use this here. Let me. <laughs> you're gonna keep your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna lean against the wall or lean against the couch, and you're just gonna push your weight back into your heels and keep your arms straight. And you're gonna kind of drag your body down. Don't drop your neck. Keep your neck nice and long. Okay, so everybody go ahead and find it. You're just going to hold until I call time. Good. So just drop the chest as low as you can. Push through the palms. If it helps, you guys can rock side to side to open up your shoulders. If you need to open up the low back, you can rock your hips. And good. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it back. If you guys want to take a drink of water while you're watching the uh, first three exercises, you can. Okay, so we're, we're going to start out with core. So we're going to do five exercises of core twice. Then we're going to go into a strength and cardio set. Okay, so first we're awakening the core. So you guys have been seeing these the past couple of times. We're um, really working on our obliques. Uh, holding what's called the side bananas, but we're going to pair it with a side plank. Okay, so we're all going to start on our left side. Our feet are going to extend long here and our hands are going to extend long here. Now remember, if you cannot lift your shoulder and your knee off the ground, you're going to drop the lower limbs and only raise the top limbs. Okay, I'd rather you do this and be able to hold it than not hold it at all. Okay, so we're going to hold for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna pulse, okay? So remember the regression pulse looks like this, okay? Then immediately after that, we're gonna go into a side plank. So elbow here, right underneath your shoulder, knees even with your hip bone. We're gonna raise all the way up as long as we can, extend this top leg, and we're gonna do the same thing. We'll hold for 30 and then pulse, okay? So we'll just stick with those two first. So go ahead and lay on your left side. 
You're gonna extend your, your limbs as long as you can above you, okay? Remember our first thing, we're working on those obliques, but in order to do that, you have to pull your pelvic floor up and in by drawing that belly button back and squeezing your glutes as tight as you can, okay? So squeeze those glutes, extend those arms. You're going to exhale, lift, everybody hold. Remember, if you can't keep your shoulder off the ground, you take the regression, okay? There's no shame in that. So everybody hold, your knee should be off the ground as well. Your thighs should also be off. If your neck is hurting, please keep it on the ground. No use in hurting your neck. Good, so flexing these feet, hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Now we pull. So we drop down and then we lift up. Drop down, lift up, hold for two, and then come back down. Okay, remember the regression is keeping the neck on the ground and lifting up your top limbs like a starfish. Exhale, <clears throat> pull the core in. Inhale, down and release the core. So keep going, I'm just coming up to check people's form real quick. So if you feel yourself kind of falling backwards, like if you have to push your hips back to balance, you need to take the regression. Nobody should be doing this. Nobody should be doing this, okay? Everybody's weight should be forward and high, okay? So if you're rolling around, that's your body telling you, hey, I need the regression, so take it. Nice, that looks much better, you guys, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go back to a 30 second hold in three, two, one. Everybody lift both limbs off unless you're taking a regression. Here we go, up and hold. Good, with that top foot flex, drawing high into your nose. If your neck is hurting, please rest it on the ground. Final 10. Get those thighs all the way off the ground. You should be resting on your hip bone for five, four, three, two, one. Last pulse on this side. Okay, so all the way up and hold for two and rest down. Okay, so the last 10 seconds, I'll let everyone go into the normal exercise, but I just want you guys to wake up that oblique first because when we roll around we're not getting the right muscles working so when we isolate the correct muscle that's how we get stronger exhale pull the belly button back squeeze the glutes hold for two down to release good Nice, everybody looks perfect on this one. For five, four, three, two, one. Stay on that side, get your elbow underneath your shoulder, high five the ground. Your left knee is on the ground. You're gonna exhale, push your butt forward. So try not to do this. Push your hips towards the knee on the screen. Squeeze hard on that left butt cheek, okay? We're gonna lift this top leg off the ground, okay? Here we go, we're gonna hold for 30. In three, two, one, push your hips towards me, draw the belly button back, neck is long. If your neck is hurting, you can hold it in your opposite hand like this. So if you're tired and need a break, you can do this. Obviously don't pull on it if you're resting there. Final 15, push your hips forward, squeeze the butt. Five. Four, three, two, one. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Dip and up as high as you can. Dip and up. Inhale down. Exhale, push and squeeze. So it should be a little bit tiring in the shoulder. Also should be tiring in that low oblique and low left. 
butt cheek. Exhale, pull it in, squeeze. Inhale, relax for five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, starting with banana holds, okay? So I want everyone to start off. So even if you're, were, you were able to get your shoulders off, some people's legs were still here. I wanna see your legs all the way up here. So if you can't get them all the way up here, you're still in the regression, okay? So let's start with the regression first, and then once it gets warmed up, 15 minutes left in the game, I'll let everybody go higher, okay? Rest your neck if you need to. Exhale up, hold. Keeping those glutes up as high as you can. Okay, so we're training our body to be able to fold in half right here. Okay, but the only way we'll do that is by training it. Keep it high. So as high as your legs are right now, I want the other leg to go up and hold it in that high position. Final 15. <clears throat> in three, two, one. Lift as high as you can. Okay, if you need to drop this other arm to hold your leg that high in front of you, that's okay. I just want you to know that this is where I want you guys to ultimately be, okay? So hold there, bring your legs together as much as you can. Good. Final five, let's see if everyone can raise their arm. Ready, let's go. And raise for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're pulsing. Okay, so if you feel like your abs are waking up now and you wanna do the full exercise, that's fine. Okay, but you know your body best. If you need the regression, take it. We're pulsing in three, two, one. So we're holding for one, two, coming back down. Exhale, bring the core back, squeeze. I care more about that squeeze and the perfect form than lifting both limbs, okay? So if you're gonna lift both limbs, they need to be able to rise all the way up. Keep that leg straight so when you lift it, we're not bending at all. Okay, here we go. Final 10. Let's bring up the legs and the arms at the same time, okay? In three, two, one. Exhale. Both limbs come up. Hold for one, two. Bring it down. Exhale up for one, two. Bring it down. Good. Just keep with it. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your legs together. Good. Reaching high through those middle fingers. If the neck is tired, remember, keep it on the ground. For five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're back to a hold. Take the regression if you need it. In three, two, one. 30 second hold. Let's go. So you can either be here or here. Okay. So make sure if you're bringing up both legs, it should be this high. Okay, if you would like to drop this hand down to train both legs, that's fine. It's up to you. Good, the legs should be, if you're doing double legs, they should be as high as you can, relaxing the shoulders away from the ear. Good. For five, four, Three, two, one. Last 10 seconds, everybody go to the normal exercise. Try to bring both up. Ready, and go. It's okay if you have to drop this arm. I'd rather you get your legs intact than your arms right now, okay? So if you need to drop that front arm, that's okay. If you're good here and you can hold it, good. For five, four, three, two, one. Back to pulses. So either to regression or double, okay? If you would like to alternate between the two, that's okay too. Last 30 seconds here. Keep the neck down if it's hurting. Hold at the top for one, two. Squeeze that oblique and squeeze the butt cheek before you release back down to center.
Okay, final 10 seconds. Everybody go to the normal exercise. Ready, begin. Lift both up. It's okay or to hold the front one in, um, in the front if you need to, okay? Good, just don't forget about the pelvic floor. We're exhaling, bringing the tummy back before we lift and then we release on the way down. For five, four, three, two, and one. Right into side plank, then we'll take a water break. Right hand underneath your right shoulder, high five the ground. Right knee in with alignment with your right hip, okay? Everybody tuck your core and squeeze your butt, then you lift, press the hips forward. So it's our starting position. Lift that top leg off the ground. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, squeeze the butt, neck is long. Remember, if your neck is hurting, you're okay to rest your neck with this top hand. Good, everybody bring your knee up a little bit higher. Should be even with your hip bone. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Drop, exhale, squeeze and hold. Inhale, drop, exhale, squeeze to hold. Good. So both butt cheeks should be hurting right now, okay? Because we just worked this other side, so your top one should be a little bit burning too. Exhale, push your hips towards me, tuck in the tummy. Inhale, down, release. For five, four, three, two, one, up to hold. And then we're done after this, we're moving on. So if needed to break, if you guys need to drop that front knee, that's okay. Once you've reset, then bring it back up. So it's okay to do this for a minute if you need to, and then bring it back up. Five, four, three, two, one. We pulse. Drop it down. Exhale up. <clears throat> Drop it down. Exhale. Squeeze up. Okay. Again, it's, it's okay to rest if you need to, but then get right back in the game. Okay. So, if the neck and the shoulders are like really painful, you guys. Okay. You can come down here and just do clamshell. Okay. Because I see a lot of people trying to hold their neck. If that's not working for you and you need to do clamshells, that's okay. Okay, so if you're doing the clamshells, you just hold for longer. So I want clamshell people to hold for five seconds before they come back down. People who have stuck to this um, side plank, you're still holding for two before you come back down. We all have 10 more seconds left. Keep your chin off your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab some water. <clears throat> All right. Now for the fun stuff. What was that? <laughs> what in God's name was that whole situation? You will love it later. You'll hate it now, but by December, you guys will love it. <laughs> now, you'll like this next one even better. So now we're gonna do wall dead bugs followed by wall Pilates ring. So I know I forgot to text you this last night. So hopefully you got my text this morning to have your ring. So you, you won't need it for this first one. The dead bugs against the wall or the couch. I see a lot of people have couches there. That'll work too. Okay, you push your hands against the sturdiest part of whatever's behind you, whether it's a wall or a couch. Okay, so the most important part, you guys, and I wanna like make sure I'm clear on this, is your hands pushing against the wall or the couch. So if you're just resting there, you're not gonna get anything out of this. I need you to act like your life or your kids' life depends on you holding that couch or that wall up. Got it? Okay, so you're here. You're pushing for your kids' life or your own life here against the wall. So then you squeeze your butt, okay, as you're driving hard through your hands, you're doing a dead bug, okay? So we're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Immediately after that, we're gonna go right into the next exercise where you're gonna take your Pilates ring 
and you're gonna put it in between your thighs, so right above your kneecap. Okay, so they'll go right in between your knees here. You're gonna go against your wall or your couch, okay? And you're gonna squeeze that Pilates ring and rest your neck, okay? Then you're gonna do a glute bridge. I'm on my toes because this is a TV stand and I'm gonna kick it over if I do my heels. So I want you guys' heels down. Okay, so I want you to come all the way as high as you can, squeeze the ring, drop to your tailbone, but don't ever set your butt down. Your butt should always be hovering. So you're gonna lift, squeeze the ring, and drop. Make sense? If, if the ring is too much, you guys can ditch it and just use your body weight. Okay, if anyone doesn't have any questions, we're gonna get started with the wall or couch dead bug. Okay, 45 seconds. So push on it as hard as you can. Okay, as, as soon as you've pushed as hard as you can, you're gonna tuck your tailbone by drawing that belly button back, knees are up. Make sure your calves are off the hamstrings. So none of this stuff. Flex the toes, here we go on three, two, one. Exhale down, squeeze the butt, inhale to center. Exhale down, squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, back to center. Okay, a lot of people are going to a one-to-one -one ratio. I want it to be one, two, heel down, one, two, center. Nice, there it is, hold that same tempo. Everybody push hard. Squeeze your glutes. For five, four, three, two, one. Roll to your side, quickly grab your Pilates ring. Okay, you're gonna put it in be right above your kneecap, so it should never be on your knees, it's just in between your thigh muscles, okay? You're gonna go up against the couch or the wall, your head is rested down. Everybody squeeze the ring as hard as you can, your heels are against the wall or the couch, and we lift, hold, and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, Relax. rest through the tailbone, let the butt hover. Exhale, squeeze the ring as hard as you can, hold the butt squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, control it on the way down, one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, squeeze, hold for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, relax, hover at the butt. Exhale, squeeze and hold for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze and lift as high as you can for five, four, three, Squeeze that ring, two, one, inhale, release. Okay, last 10 seconds, squeeze hard for five, four, three, two, one, inhale down, last one, squeeze the ring for five, four, squeeze hard, three, two, one, inhale down. Right back into wall dead bugs, here we go. In three, two, one, we push. Okay, squeeze and drop. Hold for one, two, inhale, hold for one, two. Exhale, drop for one, two, inhale up, one, two. Everybody pull those toes back more towards your face. Squeeze through your whole core and your butt. Good. The harder you can push against the wall, the more it'll generate more core capacity. Final 10. For five, four, three, two, one. Roll to your side, grab the Pilates ring right in between the thighs. We're pushing our heels hard against the wall. If you would like to make the exercise harder, you scoot your butt closer to the wall or the couch. If you would like it less intense, you scooch away from the object, okay? So do what's best for your body, not what everybody else is doing. Here we go. In three, two, one. Squeeze the ring as hard as you can. Exhale, lift, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slow to lower. Exhale, squeeze. 
for five, four. I want to see everyone push that ring as hard as they can. Three, two, one. Inhale down. Exhale up for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale down, last one. Exhale, tuck the tummy, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the ring, hold it hard for five, four, three, two, and one. Take the ring off, roll to your side, grab some water if you would like to, okay? Now, we're gonna move on to the strength and the cardio portion, okay? So, we're gonna start off with two exercises at a time so I don't overload the brain. We're gonna do squats with the Pilates rings, okay? This one can kind of be funny sometimes because, um, <laughs> well, at least for me, because sometimes when I do this, it like flings forward and <laughs> Just don't be mad if it does that, okay? If you get it on the first try because you've never done this before, you're one in a million, okay? So you just, same thing that we did on the, um, the glute bridge raises, you're gonna put it in between your legs. You're gonna try to narrow in your feet as much as you can. That's what makes it hard is narrowing down. So you're gonna squeeze the ring and you're gonna squat all the way down and then hold the squeeze on the way up. Now, remember if it flings forward or drops, that's okay. But the key is, Okay, the harder you maintain the squeeze, I think that's what I got wrong when I first started to learn this, the more you create that constant tension, the less likely that'll happen. That's exercise one. Okay, exercise number two is gonna be a standing heel lift. Okay, so we're going to hold this Pilates ring here. So notice how flat my back is. So it's not this. I'm pressing my chest down and pulling my shoulder blades back. I'm squeezing the ring as hard as I can, even though it doesn't look like it, I'm pushing. Okay, now my right leg is here and I'm working on my balance and squeezing at the same time. And I'm flexing my foot as I pulse up through the kinetic chain, okay? Let's start with those. So everybody go and stand up, okay? Legs, or Pilates ring in between the thighs. Okay, scooch those feet in as much as you can. I promise you're, the more you scooch it in, the less likely it'll fly. Okay, uh, hands here on your hips. We're gonna tuck the core, so we're pulling the pelvic floor up before we even start. So pull the belly button back, pelvic floor comes up, squeeze the glutes, we're dropping down to as low as you can, okay? And then coming all the way back up, okay? So now a lot of people are trying to hold the ring, so they're squatting like this. Don't do this, okay? I want you to act like you're sitting in a chair as low as you can, then come up, okay? Exhale, pull the pelvic floor back in, and then inhale up. You guys all got it, perfect, good job. Okay, so <clears throat> coming all the way up. The constant tension will always help. Nice, hold for five, four, Three, two, one. Take the ring. We're going to flatten the back like you're going to do a deadlift. We're going to squeeze really hard with the ring. Let's lift that left foot back and lead with the heel. We're going to pulse in three, two, one. Squeeze the ring. Lift, toe down. Lift, toe down. Okay? Try to balance as best as you can. You guys keep going. I'm coming to check on form. So don't touch the ground with the Pilates ring, okay? Because that, that makes, you, that, that torques your back weird. So squeeze as hard as you can. Roll those shoulder blades back, okay? Good. Everybody, um, I want you to push your chest down towards the ground a little bit more to flatten. There, now you got it, perfect. Squeeze that ring, that's the most important part. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Other side. We relax the shoulders, roll back, reset. Tuck the pelvic floor before you even hinge at the hips. Okay. Squeeze the ring, shoulders fall back in three, two, one. 
drop the heel, exhale, pull everything up and squeeze. Inhale, drop the toe, pull everything up through the heel. So a lot of people have been telling me that their feet have been in pain. It usually always happens during the winter time because it's colder and those are small muscles. So I will text you guys this if I haven't already. Um, yoga feet with Adrian is the best thing that you could do for your feet. Once again, athleticism has been defined incorrectly for a very long time. Okay, doing low and keep going. Doing low intensity stuff like yoga for the feet, stretching or doing low back work is just as important as getting your heart rate up. Okay, so don't get caught up in the wave there. Final five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Everybody down on all fours, okay? Now we're gonna make two movements out of this. It's gonna be um, bear crawl start into a, uh, a squat, and then we're gonna go into a pop jack. So watch how this works, okay? I'm in a bear crawl position here, scooting my knees as close to my elbows as possible. So I'm not way back here like a plank. I'm here, okay? So I, my starting position is here. We're gonna start off lower intensity. We're, we'll all, we are alternating which feet we stand up on. So I'm gonna start my, my left, right, all the way to stand. Okay, bring it back, left, leads the way back. Now this next time, my right leg's in the lead, drop my weight heavy in my heels, stand back up. Okay, when I say switch, we're gonna add some intensity here. So the intensity looks like this. Bear crawl, hop to the front, stand up. Hop down to bear crawl. Hop back up. This is my version of the burpee. I hate going into full planks because people usually mess up their abs and their back. We're gonna hop right down to bear crawl, hop up, and here. Now, if the jumping or the bouncing is too much, you just keep the walk back and keep here, okay? Does anybody have any questions before we get started? No? Okay. Here we go. We're doing alternating standing in three, two, one. Up with the left, up with the right. Weight heavy in the heels and stand. Squeeze the butt. Down, down with the left, right. Here comes right. Lead with the right, left, stand. Come down, right, left, hold. Left, right, stand. Bring it down, left, right, hold. Right, left, stand. Bring it back, right, left, hold. Left, right, stand. Bring it back down. Left, right, hold. Right, left, stand. Bring it back. Right, left, hold. Left, right, stand. Bring it back. Left, right, hold. Right, left, stand. Right, left, hold. Now we add the hop, you guys, okay? So here we go in three, two, one. Hop, stand, bring it back. Hop, the bear crawl, nice and gentle. Hop, stand, bring it back down, bear crawl. Exhale, stand, inhale, down. So the quicker you can do it, the better. It's not a plank, we're going hopping right into bear crawl, okay? When you hop and land, you squeeze your back and your butt so you're protecting the shock. I want everyone to speed it up. Last 10 seconds. Let's go. Exhale up, stand down. Exhale up, stand down. For five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise, and we're going to start all the way from the top, and we'll take a water break before we do that. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do a mini leg squat with a leg lift. Okay, so no Pilates ring. My right leg is planted on the ground. My left leg is off the ground. I'm going to do a mini single leg squat, and I'm gonna lift this back leg up. Bring it back down, don't ever touch the ground, away from the squat. Mini squat, lift, and back, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one. Right leg is planted, lift that left leg off, squat into your heel, lift the left heel up to the ceiling, hover over with the toe, come back up. Squat, lift, drop, and stand. Squat, lift, drop, and stand. Good. So careful with the shoulders, you guys, and with the neck. 
Whatever your neck and your shoulders do, your back will follow. So if your shoulders are away from your ears and you're looking at the wall in front of you, you will keep a straight back. If you look down at the ground, your whole weight will cave. Squat, lift, down. Now, the last 10 seconds, I want everyone to really focus on straightening that back right leg, okay? There should be no bend in that leg. For five, four, three, two, and one. That was good, you guys. Nice job. Now left leg. Here we go. Left leg is planted. Right leg comes back. Shoulders peeled away from the ears. Prayer position with the hands. In three, two, one. Mini squat. Lift with a straight leg. Hover. Come back up. Out of it. Mini squat. Lift. Bring it down. And exhale up. Squeeze the glute. Good, so keep your rhythm. Remember, wherever your eyes and your shoulders go, well, your back will follow, so help your back out. Shoulders down, eyes up. Nice, everyone's nailing this side, good job. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab some water, as promised. We're starting from the top. <laughs> so, may, I'll talk about this more in a second at, during the cool down. However, I just learned up some really cool recipes. Um, so I know I already gave you guys like a, a Thanksgiving thing, so I'll, I'll let that go through its course. But I'm thinking um, along with the 12 days of Christmas that I'm gonna host up for you guys, that I'm gonna host um, live cooking classes and we can make it together. They're super easy. It's like maybe 10 minutes of your time, okay? So if you can't make it, I'm gonna record it. But I wanna share these because these are really good, okay? So maybe something positive to think about before we go back into this. Okay, squat with the Pilates rings. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a challenge. If you guys thought that was too easy, you guys can add a jump here, okay? So you guys can go squat, jump, squat, jump, squat, jump. The Pilates ring, if you don't wanna do that and you like the squats, stay there. Here we go, 45 seconds. Let's move in three, two, one. Sit back in your heels. Okay, if you wanna jump, that's fine. If you don't, you can go to your tippy toes or you can just squat, whatever is best for your body, okay? Nice. So when you guys are jumping, make sure, for those of you jumpers, make sure your hands go back with your butt, not this, because this will throw your back off Make sure, so everybody who's jumping, stop. Okay, everyone who's jumping, your hands are back here and then you're up, okay? So start here and then here. Okay, keep going. Yes, much better. For five, four, three, two, one, okay? Now, we're gonna go into the straight leg heel lift, okay, with the um, Pilates ring pulse or hold at the bottom. So hold as tight as you can. Right leg is planted. Okay, squeeze as you lift. Barely touch the toe and then you're back up. Here we go in three, two, one. Squeeze the ring tight. Up and down. Exhale, pull the pelvic floor and the glutes up. Inhale, you can let it ride. Push that ring in. The more you can slow down the movement, the better. Push your chest down a little bit farther. Final 10. Two and one, switch sides. Okay, now left leg is planted. We're squeezing the ring. We're dropping the chest all the way down to the ground. Okay, flexing that foot. Here we go in three, 
two. One, squeeze the ring, pull the pelvic floor up, release. To intensify the movement, drop the chest lower to the ground. To de-intensify the movement, you stand more straight. Final 10, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, the fun stuff, bear crawl to squat, okay, then bear squat to pop jack, okay? Remember if the pop jack was too much last time, you guys are more than welcome to just keep walking it out, okay? Here we go, in bear crawl position, Shoulders are peeled back, knees are close to elbows, toes are tucked, okay? Follow my tempo in three, two, one. Left, right, stand, down, left, right, hold. Right, left, stand, right, left, hold. Left, right, stand, left, right, hold. Right, left, stand, right, left, hold. Left, right, stand, left, right, hold. Right, left, stand, right, left, hold. Left, right, stand. Left, right, hold. Right, left, stand. Right, left, hold. Now we're gonna go into the pop jacks. Here we go in three, two, one. Hop up, stand, hop to bear crawl. Hop up, stand, hop back to bear crawl, okay? If you wanna keep walking it out, you are more than welcome to, okay? Squeeze your glutes at the top. Exhale, squeeze, stand, inhale, down. Nice. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Get your chin off your chest. Here we go. We're gonna increase the tempo. Final 10 in three, two, one. Stand and back, stand and back. Nice and quick. For five, four, three, two, and one. Slowing down the motion, single leg squat, mini squat to a leg lift, okay? Then we're gonna stretch it out. Right lift, right leg down, left leg out, okay? Mini squat, weight heavy in the heel, lift, then come up and out of the squat. Mini squat, heavy in the heel, so you're shooting your butt back. Lift, down and up. Nice. So keep the breathing intact. Okay, inhale down. You use your exhale to come up. For five, four, three, two, and one. We switch sides. So now everyone's on their left, okay? If you like hands on your hips better than prayer position, do what works best for you, okay? It's all about your balance. So we're going to go heavy in the left heel, lift, down, and up. 45 seconds, let's move. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Stick it with a hard core and butt squeeze at the top. Inhale, release everything down. So remember what we talked about. In order to get super strong core, it's not just sitting there and doing a bunch of abs. It's moving your abs with every functional movement. So as you come up, you're pulling your abs in. As you come down, we release the abs. So why we're doing this is because I'm training you guys, when you get up and out of a chair, you guys should be exhaling and pulling the core in, okay? When you sit down in a chair, Okay, same thing. Final 10. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Perfect timing because we have one more minute to do something. So I'm going to let you guys choose the last minute and then we'll stretch. Okay. So as you know, my strategy on this one, pick the one that wasn't like, ooh, -hoo, I'm burning more calories on this one. Pick the one where you were like, I definitely need to work on this. It could even be the side bananas. It could be the side planks. It could be the wall dead bugs, the Pilates glute bridges, the squats with the Pilates rings, any of the above. One minute. I will tell you when you're halfway if you've chosen to do a single leg exercise, okay? Okay, here we go. We're moving out in five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit it. Good. So, all of you who have chosen, you guys all have chosen different movements. Remember, you're moving the abs with every exhale that pulls in. Every time you inhale, it, re it releases. We're halfway, so if you're doing a single leg or a single side, switch sides. Beautiful, you guys. Final five, four, three, two, and done. Take some water. COVID high five, and we'll stretch it out. Okay, good job. So um, as you guys uh, make your way down to the ground after you've drink, is it drinking, drunk some water, drinking some water? Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, let's go ahead and stretch out those obliques from all that ab work. So we're gonna lay our right hand down and reach over, keeping the crown of the neck long, not dipping down like this, keeping it nice and long, and chest is facing open, not curved down. Make sure this armpit is open. Yep, good. Hands off your chest. And exhale, swoop to the other side, tuck the core in. Remember, we're doing everyday living with the core and you inhale, you can release the core now. <laughs> From here, go ahead and interim your fingers out in, a, in the Indian sitting position. Getting your low back, so tucking the core until you're at the end of the movement and then you can release your core. And in from your hands back up, going into butterfly. So I actually learned this from Adrienne, who yoga with Adrienne is someone I just adore and I love it. She's awesome. So she taught me roundabout butterflies, which really opens up the hips. I never have seen this exercise. So her cues were really key. So making sure that we're not doing this. A lot of people around on the shoulders, so we're straight and we're pushing with the chest. Okay, go ahead and switch circles of the butterfly. And feet come out, slight bend again. We're gonna open up the hips and low back. Same stretch as we did in the, um, in the what's it called, the warm up. So drop the neck, pull through the arches of the feet. Extend the legs all the way if you would like to. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Just touch your shin bones or your calves. And come all the way to the top, hands resting behind your hip bones. Left leg is planted behind your left butt cheek. You're gonna pick your right leg up and do a figure four stretch. Less intense is drag that heel away. More intense is bringing your heel closer to your body. Okay, and then we'll just flex through the arch of the foot. So just a reminder, uh, yoga with Adrian for the feet. If you're having any arch issues, plantar issues, or calf issues, she, her little sequence of exercises are brilliant. 
Okay, go ahead and switch sides. And we're gonna wring out that back. So kind of like if you've ever like wring out a wet towel or a wet wash rag, that's what I want you to envision your spine doing. So you're, you're wringing out your spine as you twist. So start at the top of your neck and then you're slowly wringing out all the way down into the tailbone. Really keeping your posture intact. So sitting up straight, pushing your chest forward like a proud chest. and slowly unravel, and then wring out the other side, starting at the top, and then slowly wringing out each vertebrae all the way down, your head's the last thing to turn. And when you're ready, unravel. Um, 6.59, so you guys have one more minute if you need to stress before you have to head off to work. Um, other than that, I love you guys. And let me know if you did not get the hormone reset plan. For those of you who signed up for 12 days of Christmas, you will have something in your mail probably by the last day of November. Is that the 30th? Yeah. So get ready. I didn't tell you I wanted to do the 12 days of Christmas. Can I still do it? Yeah, totally. What is it again? <laughs> well, so I'm going to add on stuff, but like I'm going to do it in, for individuals and then as a group as a whole. So there's going to be a 12 day challenge, which I'm not going to tell you until December 1st, okay. but for individuals, like I'm going to send you a little stocking in your, to your house. And then you have to you know, like those old calendars when we were little, where you could poke out the square and there's a chocolate. Oh, yeah, I totally want to do that. <laughs> so, but for you, like they'll, because of your body, like versus like Katie, Jeff, MC or Maggie's like, everyone's going to be different. So when okay. you blow, I'll be like, cause you've been talking about your arches. I'll be like, do this. And then like, I know you like to work on dead bugs, so I'll have like a certain dead bug sequence for you from December 1st to um, December 12th. Okay. And whoops, I'm sorry, we just got a lecture about being politically correct, so I apologize if you're not a Christmas person, whatever your holiday is that day. All days of holiday, whatever. <laughs> sorry. But that's what it is, essentially. December 1st through the 12th. It'll be your, in your stocking. Great. <laughs> okay, so I'll get you in there, M, and then I'll send it to everybody else. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. Have a great day. See ya. Did you record it? Because I just want to do that whole thing again. Yes. <laughs> I will um, upload it to YouTube um, if you want to. You can do it on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye. I, I love you guys. We'll see you later.